Uh, now, this is a moving story. A new men's uh, football team has been set up in Bristol and every player has been through the same devastating experience. They've all been affected by the death of a baby. It's hoped that the Sands United sessions will be a chance for them to meet others and then open up about their grief. Lee Madden was at their first training session. A minute to remember their children before training begins. Pete Byram's wife was 27 weeks pregnant with their eldest son, Thomas, when doctors discovered Thomas's heart had stopped. Everything stops. I almost felt like I stopped breathing until the doctor came in and did the scan and told us that our baby had died. So it, it was very out of the blue. I left it a long time before I, I looked for support. It was 14 years before I looked for any proper support. Knowing other men often bottle up their feelings too, Pete set up this football team after hearing about similar ones in other parts of the country. 18 players have turned up here tonight, but this isn't just about football. For many of these men, it's the first time they've been with others who've been through a similar situation. Keith LaGrange's wife is a teacher. She developed the infection known as slap cheek from one of her pupils. It led to them losing their daughter, Aurora, after 24 weeks. Your world just drops out from underneath you. Like many others, he found it hard to grieve himself, knowing what his wife was going through. You do still feel uh, that you need to stay, stay strong for, for her as well. Um, and then sort of cry on the way to work sometimes. We lost three children really, really quickly. And it was a very harrowing experience. You never forget those children. Every time I take my son to school, I see other you know, girls or boys, and I think, what if? These training sessions are now going to become a regular fixture, and anyone who thinks they might benefit is welcome to join in. Lee Madden, BBC Points West, Bristol. Well, I'm really pleased to say that we are joined now by the team's manager, Pete Byram, and one of the players, John Ross, as well. Thank you both for coming in. Um, so, Pete, what made you want to, you know, take part in this and set it up? Well, I'd seen about um, in October last year during Baby Loss Awareness Week, a guy called Rob Allen in Northampton has set a team up up there for, as a way of providing support for dads, um, for bereaved dads. And I sort of followed them throughout their season. And in the new year, I spoke to a couple of the, the committee members at Bristol Sands, including John, and sort of kicked around the idea of doing it. And we thought it'd be a brilliant way of um, trying to get dads some support outside of support meetings that we do. And sadly, you've both experienced losses, haven't you? We have, yeah. So how have you coped with that? And uh, you know, because you've got to be strong at times, so you're expected almost in today's society to be strong at times like that. But actually, uh, you know, it's an awful experience. It is, yeah. It's not something that um, you're ever sort of going to think about that you're going to have to go through. So it's so unexpected, like the shock of it. You almost don't know how to cope at first. But, um, you know, with the support of Sands, um, the local area, Bristol Sands particularly, um, the support meetings that um, my fiancé and I went to, um, you almost grow to get used to it. Um, it doesn't ever go away, sort of the pain, the heartache. Um, it just becomes part of who you are. And like I said, you get used to it and you learn to live with it um, and carry on day to day as, as you do. That's John, grief, that's, isn't it? Yeah, that, that is grief. But it, it's tremendous that you can talk about it on, in the studio tonight. And how difficult do you think it is for men to sort of talk about their emotions? Well, it's, it's not the bloke thing to do, is it? Is no. to talk about your emotions. Um, you know, some, some guys will find it hard enough to talk about that in front of their family, behind closed doors, but particularly maybe in a support meeting. Um, we often get a dad come along with, with a mum, um, and mum continues to come along, but dads, we don't see many dads again unfortunately, so um, Bristol Sands United and you know, the, the other teams up and down the country are a great way for dads to go along and just have a kick about with other guys that have been in the same situation, um, have a drink afterwards and uh, maybe talk that way. Because that's the thing, isn't it, Pete? Sands actually is for everybody, but yeah. this group is just for the guys to get together, just for the men to talk about it. Um, so it's early days because you've only had your first session. Yeah. Did you feel that came out already, that, you know, that basis that from which you've all come? 
yeah, it's. I, I find it to be a, a sort of reassuring experience being in. So there was 18 of us on on Monday night there, and to to be able to sort of look around every day and know without having to say much that we all know that we've gone through the same experience. We've all suffered the, the loss of a baby before, during, or shortly after birth. Um, and to sort of see some dads there that I'd, I've not seen at support meetings before, I'm thinking, is, is this is doing even just with the first training session, this is doing what we hoped it would do. Can more people come along? Have you got room? Yeah, um, not limited to, to space. Uh, we've got our Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter pages. So, anyone wants to join, just search for us on social media, get in touch. We're going um, to sort out another couple of training sessions and then and take them there, hopefully, start playing a couple of games. What do they search? Sands United Bristol FC. Okay. okay. There we go. Fingers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's I mean, know how it, you get on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, a, it's an awful thing to have gone through. You've been very brave coming on, and it didn't look a, didn't look like a bad side actually either. <laughs> um, well, Pete and I aren't <laughs> exactly built for speed, so um, the more players we can get, looked uh, impressive yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you both. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Yeovil Town have announced that it will be next week before they decide which offer to accept for the club. In the meantime. They've agreed a short list of potential new first team managers with all three consortiums and will conduct final interviews early next week. An update will be made by Wednesday.